As that's good Odyssey, screenshots have been revealed ahead of the official announcement website Gamatsu found them on the servers of German website GamePro.de including shots of the map, the gear system and way way more. So let's go over them in this video, if you enjoyed that then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. Let's start with the one where we see the combat in action with our playable character versus a soldier with a huge hopalon shield. You see immediately that the UI is not much different from Origins with the compass on the top there and the level on the top right and the quest text on the top left and what looks like an ability window there on the bottom left that you can choose like multiple active abilities and see a cooldown for those abilities as well of course a huge departure from origins speaking of these abilities we also got to look at the ability window of odyssey and it looks pretty big way more fleshed out than origins with an assassin and hunter section and there's also a warrior section that you will see in the gear menu that it will show a little later but now it has been blocked by this window we also see different active skills for ranged and melee play so that is really interesting so that when you switch from a melee weapon to a ranged weapon the abilities switch as well they now hover over rush assassination where you can throw a spear at a distant target so just like a javelin pretty cool and we can also upgrade the ability so that's of course also different from origins let's take a look at another gameplay shot like this one where we see a player from from the looks of it kicking an enemy with one of the skills in a fort not really weird of course that the settlements return i love the things we see in the back there the statue and just a ton of hills in the area so that's of course also different from origins in the bottom right we see something interesting like the icons that could normally mean roaming bosses in origins like the vilaki bosses but i think here it looks to be the bar from the region so many leaks already suggested that you have to liberate regions and this looks to be the progression bar for that so that by doing different activities you will get new region points and in the end can then face off against a huge enemy or something like that like the general of that region and then you like liberate it much like Far Cry 5 or Ghost Recon Wildlands and I'm not sure how I feel about this because it seems too similar to those games but we will of course have to wait and see how it shakes out in Odyssey we got a shot of a cutscene where we get a better look at our assassin talking to Kyra for a side quest and I got to say like the characters look really really good like better than in Origins we of course have to wait and see how the animations will be but this looks pretty promising let's take a look at some more menus we got a quick look of the map here with the many different islands the game is of course set in ancient Greece so not really weird that you have a ton of islands to explore we see some crafting materials on the top center there I think and I'm not sure if this is the whole map, it could just be the map of the E3 demo, we don't know for sure, we do see like the similar cursor to Origins here as well. And you can probably like travel to these islands with your naval ship, we see a first screenshot of the new naval combat here, with a ton of soldiers on your ship. And it looks to be like free roam naval with like a roaming ship there in the distance, level 28. So maybe you can just hop on your ship and then like travel to an island whenever you want, that would of course be pretty cool. This gameplay shot shows the ranged combat. Interesting is that there are arrows like this plate next to your health. And that could mean that there are like multiple arrows you can use. Like maybe fire arrows and stuff like that. Poison arrows. That you have like different ammunition that would be pretty cool. We also got a sort of different overpower attack bar. Maybe an overpower attack for the ranged combat with like multiple smaller bars. So while in Origins you build up your overpower attack for your melee weapon when using your ranged weapon, maybe now we have like an overpower attack for the ranged combat. We also see some different special ranged abilities. Also worth noting are the amount of characters on the screen. Looking like a small battle there, we also see some health bars from the looks of it on top. So maybe a health bar per army, that should be very interesting. What is also very interesting is the gear menu confirming that we can indeed collect different gear pieces and that got me really excited. We see a hood as well, so yes, hoods are in this game. Of course, some people were like, oh, the art of Assassin's Creed Odyssey is all a Spartan helmet. Well, yes, but we also have hoods. We also see different rarities per items, like the legs look to be legendary, while the chest is just rare. A mount is there as well. And here you see the materials, the crafting materials on top again. 
your level. And on the left, I think we see the weapon slots from the looks of it. Like only one thing is bright, but that doesn't really look like a weapon. Although the thing we see like under that looks like a bow. So pretty interesting stuff. The thing that is lighting up right now looks to be a handle or something. So maybe we have like different handles for different weapons. We also see different damage types for the hunter, warrior and assassin. And that's where I also think that a warrior sort of skill line is in this game. And I'm curious to learn more about this, but this really looks like taking the RPG elements from Origins to the next level. But yeah, I think we can agree the game looks a lot like Origins in terms of style, UI, graphics. Here we by the way see minus 10 nation power, maybe that also has to do with like liberating the region, but not sure. So it looks like killing an enemy or something gives you minus 10 nation power, again speculation on my part, I'm not sure. Seno is back, although rumors suggest that the name is called Icarus, but this could have been a shot from Origins for sure, like the eagle like almost looks the same the world does of course look very different so yeah it seems like we can like scout the area again with the eagle mechanic so from what i can tell it really looks uh, like an evolution of origins like building on what was already there adding even more rpg elements like the abilities for ranged and melee weapons the different parts of gear and also choices as we see here where you can give the guy orders or say to plan out your next move i mean this will be huge for sure if it really impacts the story or the outcome of the different side quests it does not only add a ton of replayability but also means that it could have an impact on the ending so maybe multiple endings Endings. That would be really, really cool. And I'm all for that. So we can kind of see that this looks more like an Assassin's Creed 2 to Brotherhood than a Syndicate to Origins. And I think that building upon the foundation of Origins is really smart for the series, adding a ton of stuff onto it as well. I really can't wait to see gameplay because then we can really see what this game is, how it plays. And I hope that we can then say that this game is not more of the same, more of Origins, but really feels like a new game that improves proves upon origins and feels more like a sequel. As the PlayStation event that popped up for Origins suggests, we get the official reveal at the Ubisoft conference. So on June 11th, we will see the first trailers and gameplay of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm at E3 right now, bring you a ton of coverage from games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey and way, way more. So totally subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to miss nothing. Check out my special E3 game giveaway where I give away an E3 game of choice on your platform of choice like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The link is in the description down below all you have to do is like follow me on social media where i will post a ton of e3 coverage as well like stories my reaction on the press conferences and way way more photos so totally check that out drop a like to support the channel i think you will like my video on the things that i don't want to see return in odyssey you can watch that by clicking on the screen and i will speak to you next time goodbye